Hey everyone, I'm Mike from Georgia's Marine and Sports in Kingston. And today we're going to take a look at the 2015 Regal 42 Sport Coupe. This boat has about 125 hours on it. It's loaded with different features and customizations, and I know you're going to be really impressed. Let's take a look. One of the really nice things about the Regal 42 is the size of the swim platform. In the middle you can see the uh, swim ladder and then here's your water hoses which are on electric reels. So you just press a button and they'll reel in or out. And then on the other side you can see where the shore power is which is the same electric reels. Underneath the sun pad there's some storage where you could put fenders and uh, the four hooks where you could hang your lines neatly so that they can dry. I like how there's gas assist struts so it holds it open and you can access it even with the canvas is still on the back. On the starboard side of the boat we can see the entrance uh, as well as the steps that go up onto the side gunnel so that you can walk around to the front of the boat if you want. Now on the port side there also is an entrance. Uh, we do have a seat filling there uh, so that you have a little bit extra seating but you can remove that in case you do want to enter from either the port or the starboard side. Now this boat has some custom canvas that you won't see on any other 42 uh, with the blinds that roll down, it's screened in Isinglass and then the Bimini which uh, gives you a little bit more sunshade that comes a little bit further back from the standard hardtop. Now this boat also has the option for the uh, electric grill and the ice maker underneath. One of the things that I really like about the Regal Sport Coupes is the glass enclosure option where you can completely open this up so it doesn't break up the boat too much uh, but at the same time you can have the cockpit completely enclosed without any canvas. Uh, here you can see how open it is once everything does get open so it doesn't break it up too much. This is really nice for the cool cockpit where you can have heat and air just in the cockpit because it's completely enclosed. Here we've got a small refreshment center with a sink, a countertop, some cup holders and a fairly large fridge in the cockpit. Uh, this is nice because it keeps it, all your drinks and whatnot right close and so you don't have to go too far. The TV which we'll come back to in a little bit as to how it's all tied into the entertainment system. Regal, unlike uh, some manufacturers, likes to have a nice social area here in the cockpit uh, with a teak table and lots of seating. Um, this allows the captain to be able to converse with the passengers. Um, other manufacturers have this area a little bit further back in the boat, which kind of makes you feel like you're chauffeuring uh, passengers around and the people that you're with, um, so you're not able to socialize with them as easily. As we scan across the helm, we can see the two Garmin chart plotters, uh, and then here we've got the IPS joystick, where you can control this boat uh, just by pressing a button. Uh, this whole joystick will move the boat exactly how you want it to. Uh, within 30 seconds, you really get a good feel of exactly how it's going to move the boat, uh, which makes docking a breeze for anybody. This boat's powered with twin Volvo Penta diesel D4s, which are 300 horsepower each. Uh, your cruise speed is about 31 to 35 mile an hour, and top speed is almost 40 mile an hour. Probably one of the most impressive things about the Regal Sport Coupe is the retractable hardtop. No other manufacturer is making a full beam retractable hardtop like this. As you can see, I'm just pressing a button. I don't have to deal with any canvas or anything like that, and it opens all up a lot. Uh, for those nice sunny days, you can allow the air to come right in, uh, but you can seal it off if it is a little bit colder or raining or anything like that. And because Regal has this retractable hardtop, it gives the ability to have a center walk through here with a couple steps and some non-skid that steps up. So you can get to the bow of the boat, to the windlass anchor, or your fenders, or even just to your uh, sun pad out front. Now that we're up here, we can take a look and see the retractable hardtop open all the way uh, and how wide it is and how open it is. When we head down to the cabin, we'll slide open the one-piece composite locking door and there's a screen in behind that you can slide across as well. Here we can see the birch with rosewood flooring as we enter the galley and there's your TV with uh, both surround sound. Now this whole TV system is all tied into your Fusion stereo as well so that you can watch the same thing on all four TVs and have the music playing through all the speakers. Uh, here you've got your Corian countertops, an electric two burner grill built in as well. Regal's cabinetry is handcrafted at the Regal factory. Uh, this is the high gloss black cherry. You can see it's finished inside and all of the wood grain matches up from door to door. 
in this cabinet you've got your dishes that all have a specific place so nothing's going to shift around too much while you're underway. The second fridge here in the galley is also quite big uh, so if you are gone for a long period of time like a week or a long weekend you'll have lots of room for food and beverages and whatnot. When we head into the aft stateroom, you can see the sliding pocket doors, which can be uh, locked in the closed position. And then once we open it up again, we lock it uh, at the top so that it's not going to shift while you're underway or anything like that. To our right in the stateroom, we can see the sink uh, as well as a mirror and lots of drawers and cupboards for all your stuff while you're on the boat. And then we've got two twin beds, which uh, as you can see, we have the insert in so that it makes it a double bed. Uh, these can easily be removed and you've got the two twins again. We've also got a, another TV here which ties into the entertainment system like all the other TVs uh, with the Blu-ray, DVD and satellite system. Taking a look at the aft stateroom head, uh, we can see here the shower as well as there's an optional teak seat that has been added onto this boat uh, but it can be easily removed. Before we head into the master stateroom, I'm going to point out a few things here in the salon. Um, all of Regal's stitching you can see, uh, it's a little bit hard to see from this distance, but uh, is French stitched. Um, so it's a nicer finish than most other boats are going to have. Um, you now this uh, couch can flip out a little bit further, which gives you an additional sleeping area. All you have to do is just uh, put these legs down and then reposition the original cushion. And if somebody else is staying on the boat overnight, then there's this additional sleeping area for them here in the salon. Now there's also a table that can go in here, which we don't have set up right now, but you can see the table base. Heading into the master stateroom, there's again a pocket door that slides across. Uh, you have a full queen size bed, which is an inner spring mattress, uh, as opposed to just a piece of foam. Lots of storage in here and entrance to both sides of the bed. And up on the wall, we've got our fourth and final TV. Entering into the forward head, you'll notice that there's no shower in this head. That's because there's a separate shower, which we'll come to in a little bit. Uh, here we've got our glass sink, as well as the cabinets and mirror. Uh, it's a very well finished head. And then into the separate shower. A lot of people like this because you don't have to contend with the sink or the head while you're taking a shower. It gives you lots of room to get ready to go out to dinner or anything like that. For further information, give us a call at 613-634-1304. I'm Mike from Georgia's Marine Sports in Kingston, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.